Well, we're joined now on the programme by Murali Krishnan in Delhi and Mushraf Zaidi in Islamabad, journalists who've been covering Kashmir for many, many years. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us here on the programme. Murali, to you, first of all, how much pressure is Narendra Modi under? The General Secretary of the BJP was urging a complete jaw for one tooth earlier in the day. There's huge public outrage right now in India in the fact that the kind of warmongering as well as a sharp rhetoric which is happening right now in Delhi is quite not seen in a very, very long time. And I think India is now uh, evaluating the responses to find out what could be possibly the best way to pay back Pakistan. This is the way the thinking is happening right now. But Prime Minister Narendra Modi has just chaired a security meeting with his top officials, including the Home Minister, the Defence Minister, the National Security Advisor. And after that, he soon met the President, Pranam Mukherjee, to brief him on what, what, what has happened in Uri, in North Kashmir. We'll, we'll, so the we'll, kind of... We'll, we'll, look at, we'll look at options in a moment. But uh, Musharraf, let me ask you, because you wrote an article today with a headline that says, India and Pakistan need special leadership to deny warmongers what they want. I, I mean, do you believe the situation is that dangerous? Absolutely. I think that the, uh, the public outrage, the media outrage, uh, the situation in India... Um, has has been escalating. There have been uh, tensions uh, that have sustained ever since Mumbai, in particular, and Patan Court was uh, was an interesting event in the sense that it didn't tip the balance over. It didn't force uh, Narendra Modi's hand uh, to, to to react uh, in any kind of way that would then produce a reaction from Pakistan. But now. Uh, Everything that I hear from friends in India and, and what we've heard from Murali uh, just now uh, confirms that the pressure on the political dispensation in India is, is very large to do something uh, that short of, you know, I mean, that will be escalatory in nature. OK, uh, Murali, just briefly, uh, the Indians have said, uh, their, their army spokesman has said there's evidence of Pakistani involvement. What is the evidence? Well, they seem to suggest that the same kind of uh, attack which happened earlier this year in January in, a, in, in Patan Court, in an airfield out there, seems to have the same kind of signature footsteps as what has happened in Uri in North, in North Kashmir. And they have found Pakistani markings, and they believe that jaish e a militant group, has been behind this attack. So, therefore, that's why this escalation, and that's why this sharp rhetoric, and the, and the idea is right now what India is going to do. Are they going to, are they going to look at military options or are they going to diplomatically isolate Pakistan? These are options being weighed upon very heavily at this particular point. Briefly, so we have to wait briefly the, what do you think is most likely of those options? Those, I mean, that is a very difficult question to, uh, to, to measure out right now. The fact is we, India cannot afford to go for, you know, short skirmishes into Pakistan because both are nuclear-armed neighbours out there and it could probably escalate into a full-fledged war. How, how this is going to play out is going to be a very tough and tedious question. And this is something which is really exercising both the political and security establishment in India. Uh, Mosharraf, let me ask you, in terms of uh, the various statements we've heard out of Delhi, what do you make of uh, the words that have been chosen and the very fact that it, it is so public? Uh, what do you make of those statements and, and what does Pakistan say in denial? Well, I think, uh, you know, for the most part, uh, Pakistan has been very uh, restrained. Pakistani leaders have been very restrained in, in reacting, partly because uh, the anger in India is understandable. Pakistan has been enduring having its soldiers killed uh, by, by terrorists now consistently and in a sustained manner over the last decade. And so I think Pakistanis understand and, and can appreciate the anger that this event has uh, produced in India. Uh, it's also not new. I think the Home Minister in India and what he tweeted, which your report mentioned, is just one of several uh, incendiary statements. Uh, Manohar Parikar, the Defense Minister, uh, even before this event, has been making incendiary statements. The August 15th, uh, you know, the baiting of Pakistan in the August 15th speech by the Prime Minister of India. Uh, there, there have been a series of events that, that are escalatory in nature in terms of the rhetoric. And it, it feels and seems like uh, this at this stage, 
there's not a lot much uh, there's not a lot more left to say and and okay. that you know I think that people in India probably feel that it's now time for India to do things of course the tragedy in all this is that the critical issue between these two countries uh, which is Kashmir is getting left by the wayside once again uh, the tragedy in, in Kashmir of course is that there have been there's been a massive crackdown over the last uh, over the last month and a half uh, and s over 80 people, uh, you know, including, you know, an 11-year-old child was buried two days ago. And, and, and that tragedy is, is getting buried under, underneath the rhetoric between the two countries. Uh, this has been the pattern between these two countries. And uh, innocent and poor Kashmiris suffer as a result. Well, Shraf Saidi, thank you so much for being here on the program. And uh, Murali Krishnan there in Delhi, thanks to you as well for your time.